Welcome to a game-changing episode on crafting a standout resume. Ever wondered what goes through a recruiter's mind as they sift through a mountain of applications? Stick around as I pull back the curtain on the recruitment process from an insider's perspective. Imagine being the recruiter who's gotten used to seeing the same dreary resume layouts day in, day out. Now, picture the refreshing rush of excitement as a sleek, well-crafted resume lands on their desk that could be yours. A resume isn't just a part of your job application, it's a powerful tool that can trigger an emotional response. Leaving a lasting impression should be your prime target. Today, you'll get the secret straight from the horse's mouth. It's been only two years since I was in the trenches of hiring, navigating through an unending tide of resumes daily. From that experience, I've deciphered the key that unlocks the door to a recruiter's interest. It's all about aesthetics coupled with high production quality. The aim? To be the standout candidate, the one who catches the eye and holds the gaze. Now, let's dissect the anatomy of a resume that gets the job done. The first game changer is adding a professional headshot. It's not only about the brightness of your smile but forging a personal connection with the person deciding your fate. Suit up, flash your pearly whites, and let them see who you are. Its scientifically proven faces draw attention and preference, anchoring your resume in the evaluator's psyche. Next, inject some color into your application. Nothing shouts, I've got an eye for detail, like a color-coordinated headshot and resume. It speaks volumes about your meticulous nature. After all, those who visually harmonize are perceived as more confident and competent. Lastly, forget about basic templates up for high-caliber layouts that proclaim your professional demeanor loud and clear. Sure, there are times when you'll need to stick to a prescribed format, but whenever there's freedom, seize this edge to elevate your application. Although I hold no allegiance to any specific online service, I will say this. The right tools can boost your resume from forgettable to unforgettable. And let me be clear, in my extensive experience of reviewing over 10,000 applications, the most remarkable resumes were far from cookie cutter. They were crafted, not produced en masse. Astonishingly, few candidates take advantage of the full potential at their disposal. Think about it, you could capitalize on tools that lift your resume into that top tier. The rare gems that make a recruiter pause and appreciate the attention to detail. Now, I could stand here and talk about the effectiveness of this approach all day. But the real question is, what will you do with this information? Will you be the one to bring color, clarity, and care to your professional introduction? Will your application make it to the top of the pile? Enhance your resume. Bolster your job prospects, tap into tactics not just for the modern market but for making an unequivocal statement of intent. Remember, we're in 2023, and the stakes are high. The workforce landscape has never been more competitive, so if you want to elevate your personal branding and make inroads into your desired career, then the fine details certainly do matter. And a polished, professional resume might just be the keystone to your success. By the way, if you're finding value in this discussion, make sure to give a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell to ensure you don't miss out on powerful insights that can shape your career trajectory. Who knows by doing just that, you could very well be taking the first step towards landing your dream job. Throughout this conversation, I've highlighted the sheer impact of a well-conceived resume. In a sea of sameness, it pays to be the unique specimen that stimulates the interest and the imagination of those making hiring decisions. With a dash of color, a stroke of professionalism, and the personal touch of a photo, your resume can command attention and respect. As we wrap up, I want you to ponder over what you've learned today. What are the changes you'll implement to elevate your job search, starting from this moment? Crafting an impacting resume is more art than science, a blend of strategy and personal expression. The ball's in your court, will you take the shot? Have you found this deep dive into the resume reformation valuable? If you feel the guidance here rivals that of a seasoned career coach, consider showing your appreciation. There's a gratuity link in the description below, feel free to tip in line with the value you've received. 
In conclusion, as you tackle the challenges of personal finance, make informed investments in your career, or strategically approach the real estate market, always remember that your professional persona starts with that first introduction, your resume. Build it thoughtfully, make it vibrant, let it speak volumes before you even get the chance to utter a single word. Until next time, strive to be the strong, successful archetype in every room you enter. Welcome to today's deep dive into Mastery of Influence, where we're unpacking the game-changing strategies that propelled a businessman to the highest office in the land. Think you understand modern politics? Prepare to have your mind blown as we explore tactics that turned a businessman into the leader of the free world. This isn't your typical history lesson. This is about understanding the art of persuasion in a society where ideas, via tweets or headlines, shape our reality more than the hard facts. So, buckle up, gentlemen. You're in for a ride that'll challenge everything you thought you knew about political prowess. Imagine a world where business acumen and showmanship grant you the keys to the ultimate power seat, and where persuasion trumps policy every time. In the Roaring Twenties, Edward Bernays would pen propaganda, a blueprint for the modern influencer, setting the stage for what we witnessed in the political ascent of Donald Trump. Contrary to what some may think, the kernels of Donald Trump's political success were planted far before The Apprentice, in his office towers and tabloid headlines. He studied the playbook of mass influence, much like a diligent apprentice, learning how to bend the business of politics to his will. It's 2016, and this tycoon has taken Bernays' musings to heart, understanding that the key to victory isn't selling policies, it's selling a dream. Forget about ensuring a product's utility, tap directly into the gut-level desires of the populace. Traditional ads? Old news. Bernays argued the real magic was staging news events themselves to craft a narrative, to sell a reality, and who better to prove him right than the king of spin? using Twitter as his stage. With over 15 million followers hanging onto his every tweet, Trump demonstrates Bernays' principle of bypassing conventional ad methods for more trustworthy mediums at a pace that would make the father of spin dizzy. Today we make America great again. Doesn't just share a sentiment, it captures over half a million supporters with a single click talk about maxing out the returns on 140 characters. Trump's strategic spectacle on Twitter shows us the power of the instant news cycle he's not amplifying a message. He's building it from scratch, in real time. It's unfiltered, raw, yes, but also heavily scripted in its authenticity. This is targeted messaging on steroids. Attack, defend, threaten there's no intermediary. It's hardball persuasion, a direct line to the gut of America. Now, let's dip into a more controversial domain of psychology, the crowd mind. Groups are chaotic, right? Impulse driven? Bernays believed the public was a herd begging to be tamed, that there should be master puppeteers, orchestrating the masses to the beat of reason cloaked in desire. The power of propaganda encapsulated in a line, shaping organized habits and opinions is pivotal in a democracy. This notion isn't theoretical, it's combat tested. Consider the shadow wars of United Fruit, Bernays at the helm, branding Jacobo Arbenz a threat, swaying public opinion to fuel a CIA-sponsored COUP now that's pulling strings on a global scale. Trump's tactics echo this. Galvanizing public opinion against Hillary Clinton wasn't a debate of policies it was an onslaught on fitness for the presidency, leveraging insinuation and fear. Tweets don't just connect. They infect, spreading doubt, casting aspersions, commanding headlines. We're witnessing a masterclass in the oldest sales tactic in the book, fear. Let's talk post-truth, the word that capsizes the ship of fact in favor of the winds of emotion and belief. Rampant in Brexit and the US election, it's the epitome of Trump's method, the emotional overture trouncing objective facts, mantras taking precedence over minutia. The 45th presidency birthed not from a legacy of political maneuvering, but from the sheer power of the emotional bond. And now, as we peel back the layers of this grand strategy, I urge you to strike that subscribe button, like, and ring that notification bell. 
By doing so, you're one step closer to harnessing these insights for your power plays. Gentlemen, let's not just ponder theory. Action is the aorta of success. As the 45th president leveraged persuasion to clinch victory, ask yourself how will you apply these tactics? What are your plans for leveraging the power of influence in your life? The game's evolved, now it's your move. As we close, if this video offered you a wealth of knowledge, consider rewarding the value you've gained. Your support fuels this journey of discovery. Remember, the link for gratitude is waiting for you in the description. Until next time, stay informed, influential, and unequivocally audacious.